Hey guys, I am out on the farm, wandering around the back, my happy place with my dog, Sonny. Hey, Sonny. But I figured this is a good time um, to do a quick introduction uh, to North Carolina regulations about wild mushrooms. And the first thing I want to tell you uh, that, that you need to know is that uh, you cannot just collect and sell wild mushrooms in North Carolina without establishing expertise. Um, and the easiest way to do that, of course, is to, is to take a course, uh, which you can do through the Fungal Network. Um, but you can also establish your own expertise. It's possible, uh, it's possible to do that. So that's number one, is you've got to have established yourself as an expert. Being an expert uh, for this purpose does not mean that you're a mycologist. And it doesn't mean that you can walk out into the woods and any mushroom you see, you can identify it. You don't need that any more than you need to have a PhD in marine biology to be a commercial fisherman. Um, it's, not, it's not important to have that level of knowledge. What is important uh, is that you have good in-depth knowledge about 16 species of mushrooms. There's only 16 species of mushrooms that can legally be sold wild mushrooms in North Carolina. That's it. And anything outside of those 16 cannot be sold. Uh, you can still collect them, you can eat them yourself. Um, the other thing to know uh, is that there is a position statement put out by the Food Protection Division in 2017 that you can find online or you can find a link uh, on ncwildmushrooms.com uh, to all the relevant stuff. That position statement is really what defines what's required in North Carolina. There's only a couple of paragraphs, small, like one sentence paragraphs in the food code that talk about wild mushrooms. There's no real explanation of it. And so the position statement is meant to clarify that. And it's based on a 2014 publication put out by, um, by a nonprofit that is a sort of a partnership between consumers, industry, and regulators uh, regarding food safety. Um, so it's based on that, and that establishes regulations about not only those 16 varieties, but also safe handling of them, uh, proper training, uh, poisoning, as well as setting up administrative guidelines for how mushrooms can be tracked. So that's kind of the basics of it. Um, it's actually not that complicated, um, but it is really important that the people that choose to be involved in the wild mushroom industry in North Carolina, that they really understand uh, the system so that they can work safely inside of it so that we have a good functioning system that allows all of us to be able to make a living doing it and also protects consumers uh, in the process.